Lesson 4.1 Congruent Figures. Today we start working much more in depth with triangles. We spend quite a bit of time on this. Um, it's a, a larger unit than we've done in the past. But what's the big deal with triangles? What do we care? Um, well, if you look around, triangles are used extensively in construction. Um, what I was going to say first is triangles, they're the simplest polygon. With three lines, we can make a shape. With three segments, we can make a shape. With two segments, we can't. So we start simplest and, of course, get more complex from there. And they're used in construction. because they are rigid. And I will hopefully do a demonstration on this. You tie in the end of three boards. They're not going to move. So it's a very rigid construction. Example of this is right here. This is what roofing beams look like and you put triangles in the middle to make them nice and secure and they don't move anywhere so you have triangles here here so on and so on so before we get too far into triangles let's talk about congruent figures someone hands us a couple triangles And we're told triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle D, E, F. You might be tempted. Just slap any old letters up there. F, E, D, or E, F, D. Don't, because this is very specific. First is first. These two come first. So that means that angle A and angle D are congruent. Angle B and angle E are congruent. They might be congruent to A, but we don't know that, so we give them their own congruent sign. And angle C and angle F are congruent. And in a similar manner, AB and DE have to match up. Because they're the first two letters together. BC and EF match up. AC and DF match up. This is a hassle for a teacher because when you do stuff on a test or quiz or assignment, I've got to make sure you know what you're talking about. If your letters don't match up, it gets marked off. So make sure we're clear about that. You can't just throw them out there and say, oh, yeah, yeah, that works. Without even looking at my diagram, I can also start plucking them off. Angle B has to be congruent to angle E. Angle C has to be congruent to angle F. So on and so on. Side. A, B is congruent to side D, E. And this information is given to us, just so we're clear. We will have to go prove it very, very soon, but right now it's given to us. And one of the biggest questions I get is, well, I get this congruent thing, two shapes congruent, but what if I have a triangle like this, and I flip it over? So it looks like that. Are they still congruent? The answer is yes. They can be translated, which is just moved left, right, up, down. They can be rotated. And what we just asked, they can be reflected or flipped. More on that in May. Yes, May. So... Now we know there are two triangles congruent. We know all the parts match up. We just did this. So see the other side of the page if you're looking for how they match up. If I were to tell you 
triangle G E F is congruent to triangle K L M and it was a proof you said well angle G therefore must be congruent to angle K what reason would you write you would write CPCTC that's right here you'll see why we abbreviate it the corresponding parts of congruent and I'm abbreviating that triangles are congruent sounds complicated blows people away then they get good at it and realize it's not that big a deal it just means that the parts match up which we already talked about but it's the reason for the proof when I say oh I've proved these two triangles congruent now I want to pluck these angles off or I want to say GF is congruent to KM how come well I proved them congruent and now corresponding parts of congruent triangles are going to be congruent that's it lots of practice on that if you're confused by it don't be we'll get you that real quick we can also call two polygons and I'll try and draw a really horrible pentagon and then put another pentagon a B C D E I think a is here so we'll call that F G H J and K and we'd have to be very careful about matching these up so I believe that a matches with no B matches with F and C matches with G and so on and so on so be very careful uh, we won't do this much we'll do it a little bit but not much but just be aware of it you got to make sure you line up your letters properly when you write things out that's it get ready to do some problems